Hello everyone. Today, in this video, I will show you how to create a team in Power Platform Admin Center step-by-step. Step. By the way, this is not the Microsoft Teams we use for communication and collaboration. Before getting into the demo, let's understand what Teams is in the Power Platform. In Power Platform, a team is a group of users within an environment who share specific permissions and security roles, allowing collaborative access to resources like apps and data. We can say the team is one of the entities from an organization while you are dealing with Power Platform. Think of your organization as a top-level entity. Under that, you have your Microsoft 365 tenant. Under that, you have various environments to work with. Under that, we have various business units. Under that, we will have various teams, followed by a group of people and their security roles. This is what the team structure in the Power Platform Entities ecosystem looks like. A practical example of a team in Power Platform is a sales team created using a Microsoft Intra ID security group type, which simplifies sharing and permission management for users in the sales department. Example workflow. Create a sales team using Intra ID security group. In the Power Platform Admin Center, an administrator sets up a team linked to the Microsoft Intra ID security group named Sales Team, representing all members of the sales department. Assign security roles. The team is assigned specific security roles, such as basic user or salesperson, granting members permissions to access customer data and manage sales records without admin level control. App sharing. The administrator then shares a sales management app, e.g., a model driven app directly with the sales team intra ID security group, enabling all members to access the app without having to be added individually. Efficient onboarding and management. When a new salesperson joins, they are simply added to the sales team group in Microsoft intra ID, automatically granting them access to the app and data with the same permissions as other team members. Using an intra ID security group team is efficient for managing permissions especially for departmental or functional groups, as it provides easy access control and consistent role assignments without requiring administrative privileges. Now, let's go ahead with creating a new team. Log in to your Power Platform Admin Center. From the left side panel, click on the Environments link. You will get to see all your Power Platform environments where you have access to. Select your environment where you want to create your team. Open your environment in a new tab. On the right side, you can see the Access section. Click on the Teams link from there. By the way, you can get the Teams link using other navigation as well. Click on your Environment Settings link. From there, go to the Users and Permissions section. There, you will get the Teams link. Click on that. Both the links are the same. You can create a new team using both options. Once you are landed in the team screen, you will see all your previously created teams and out-of-the-box system teams. To create a new team, click on the Create Team link from the top. 
The team creation screen opens. The team creation screen opens. By the way, I must say here before I proceed on to create a new team. There are four types of teams in Power Platform. These are Owner Team Type, Access Type, Microsoft Intra ID Security Group Type, and Microsoft Intra ID Office Group Type. What are these types? And when to select which type? I have explained this in my article. You may go through that. I will mention the article URL in the comment section. Here, I will create all the team types mentioned here one by one. First, I will go with the owner team type. Enter your owner type team name. Description is an optional parameter. However, it is good to have for the power platform governance purpose. I have entered something like this as a demo team. Select your business unit. What is a business unit and how to create a custom business unit? Refer to my article in another video where I have explained in detail. Here, I am selecting the out of the box business unit. However, you can select your custom business unit as well. Select your team administrator and select the team type as owner. Click on the next button. Then add members to your team. I have assigned my username here as a member as well. Click on the next button. Then you will get the manage security roles screen. Select the roles that you want for your team. I have explained what security roles are and how to create custom security roles in my article and another video. Please refer to those. I have selected a couple of roles here. Click on the Save button. You will receive a role assignment confirmation message. Click on the Save button. Yes, my new team got created. To verify the new team you just created, select the team type view from the drop down list as owner. Then, at the top, search with the team name you just created. Yes, I can see my owner type team, which I just created. Then, continue the loop to create the rest of the teams. Just change the team type. Next, Let's create a new team with the access team type. Name your access type team. Select your team business unit. Select your team administrator. Select the team type as access. Then click on the next button. Add team members to your access type team. Then click on the next button. Yes, my access type team got created. Notice that here, we don't have options to select security roles, as this will be for restrictive access. Let's see whether my team got created or not. Switch team type view to access and search using your access type name. We can see the newly created access type team. Now, 
Let's create a team with the Microsoft Intra ID Security Group type. Name your Microsoft Intra ID Security Group type. Select team. your team business unit. Select your team administrator. Select team type as Microsoft Intra ID Security Group. Select your Azure Security Group. Please be aware of that. Here we can select only the Azure Security Group, not the Microsoft 365 type group. Select membership type as members and guests. Other options are members, owners, and guests. Refer to my article for a detailed description of these. I got an error. As I have already used my security group in my other team for the same membership type, I cannot use it again. It should be a unique value. Let's change my security group to another security group. This time my error went away. Click on the next button. Select your team's security roles. I have selected a couple of security roles for this demo. Click on the Save button. Again, for the confirmation of security role assignment, click on the Save button. My new team with the Microsoft Intra ID Security Group type got created. Let's verify that. Switch the team selection view to Microsoft Intra ID Security Group and search with the team name you just created. Yes, I can see my newly created team, Microsoft Intra ID Security Group type. Now, let's create a team with the last team type, Microsoft Intra ID Office Group. Name your Microsoft Intra ID Office Group type team. Select your team business unit. Select your team administrator. Select team type as Microsoft Intra ID Office Group. Select your Microsoft 365 Group. Please be aware of that. Here we can select only the Microsoft 365 Group, not the Azure Security Group. This is the difference between the Microsoft Intra ID Security Group team type and the Microsoft Intra ID Office Group. Select membership type as members and guests. Other options are members, owners, and guests. Again, I got an error, as I have already used this Microsoft 365 group in my other team for the same membership type. I cannot use it again. It should be a unique value. Let's change my Microsoft 365 group to another Microsoft 365 group. This time my error went away. Click on the Next button. Select your team security roles. I have selected a couple of security roles for this demo. Click on the Save button. Again, for the confirmation of security role assignment, click on the Save button. My new team with the Microsoft Intra ID Office Group type got created. Let's verify that. Switch the team selection view to Microsoft Intra ID Office Group and search with the team name you just created. Yes, I can see my newly created team, Microsoft Intra ID Office Group type. Now all the team types have been created. From the Teams Library screen, you can manage your teams. Let's select any of the teams we just created. Selecting my Microsoft Intra ID Office Group type team, click on the Edit menu. We can edit the team name and description. The rest we can't change, as you can see on the screen. If we click on the Manage Team Members, we cannot add a user or remove them from the list from here manually. 
Users need to be managed in the Appropriate Security Group or Microsoft 365 Group, Office Group, in Microsoft Intra ID. One more very important thing to mention here. Users from the security group will show up here only after they have logged into the environment at least once. It is applicable for both Microsoft Intra ID Security Group as well as Microsoft Intra ID Office Group. If we click on the Manage Security Roles menu after selecting a team, we can manage the security roles for that team, like adding or removing a security role from the selected team. If we click on the Reassign Records menu after selecting a team, we can reassign records for that team to me or another user or team. Click on the Delete icon to delete your selected team. Click on the Change Business Unit menu to change your team's business unit. You can see all my custom business units, whatever I have created. I'm not doing any changes, just showing how to change the business unit for a team after creating it. Please go through my article. I have explained it very thoroughly when to create and use which types of teams based on your business requirements. That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.